Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team career mode. Here today for part 20 for the Spanish Grand Prix. As we come off the back of a very, very good Monaco. Let's see if we can continue the form. So let's start then off in qualifying. And he's had a very good first lap as we come into the final corner now. And up to the line. And we do go from provisional pole position. But that lap would be beaten by George Russell as we skip on to the end of qualifying we're down in on our delta time in the first two sectors but we found time in this final sector just over a tenth as we round the final corner will it be even enough the answer was no and we will start the race the circuit of Barcelona Catalonia has been on the calendar for over 30 years now and it has served up some classics. Michael Schumacher's first win for Ferrari in 1996 in the rain. We have much better weather here today for the Spanish Grand Prix. The circuit of Barcelona Catalonia runs to 2.9 miles. It's a heady mix of high and low speed corners. Look out for the high downforce arc of turn three, the two DRS zones and the chicane at turns 40 and 50. Race not far away from starting. Here's what today's grid rundown looks like. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position. And Brown completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Sainz, Hamilton, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Perez, Gasly, Norris, Stroll, Ocon, Bottas, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri. Joe, Magnussen, Albert, Fittipaldi, De Vries, Sergeant, and Liam Lawson. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And it is great to have the company of Natalie Pinkham for this one. Nat, the sun is out once again. Formula One is a physical sport though. Is the weather going to help or hinder them today? Formula One never sits still. That's something that is so compelling about it as a fan. I love the fact that they're always pushing boundaries, always asking questions, always challenging how we can do better and create more performance, more entertainment, more technological advances. And we take the viewers with us on that journey. And I think that's why it's so thrilling. So it's going to be a pretty easy one stop then, starting on the softs, going up to the mediums. And let's see if we can get George off the line and try it and go forward. We had a very strong race here last season in our first Spanish Grand Prix. When the car wasn't up to the standard that it is now, Max Verstappen won, of course, from 14th on the grid in that race. He's a little bit further up the grid this time, but can we make it back-to-back -back wins this season for the first time? Let's go to it then as we form up on the grid alongside George Russell we get our parking space bang on for the grid and we wait now for the grid to form before the five red lights start off then with 33 laps and breaks in it's lights out and away we go for the Spanish Grand Prix and we have got George at the start he had a very poor start we had a great one and we take the lead before we get to the first corner in the background I think that's Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso going wheel to wheel but we are away and in the lead we've got the start we needed to get at the end of lap one George now right on the back of us trying to find a way through as we go through turn four we run a little bit wide that's allowed George to try and get a bar inside maybe turn it to the outside no he had to back out of it and we lead the Spanish Grand Prix coming towards it, the end of the first lap we've got a pull race off the final corner George has got a good one and we're neck and neck we use the overtake button to just get us past it's a, it's a drag race to the first corner George on the inside we can be pinned round the outside George now has the outside line and now they're going to keep it pinned and go all the way around the outside of turn three. We're still there, we're not giving up. We're now on the outside of turn four. And George gives us the little squeeze and we have to back out of it in the end. We tried our hardest to keep George behind. But we just couldn't do it. But up onto that three now. 
We were sticking with George and we've managed to get close enough again to have a go to the outside. And we get him into turn one. No messing about that time. Now can we pull away from our fellow Brit? The answer was very much no. If we ride on board of us then, look at the slipstream of DRS George gets. We're trying to keep it to the outside. It didn't work the first time on lap two. Can it work the second time? We're side by side. We're keeping it pinned around the outside of turn three once again, but we've understeered off the track. And now Max Verstappen has seen a chance to get us, and he has. And also, we got the inside of George Russell. But George fends him off. We've dropped down to P3. We may be nearly lost out to the Ferrari, but in our attempt to retake the lead, we've lost out to Max Verstappen, who is going for it again on George Russell at the inside we've broken on very very late to send it late round the outside of George Russell we so nearly hit the back of him but we judged it to perfection and we retake P2 and now we're hunting down the race leader Max Verstappen he won this race 12 months ago but we sail around his outside to retake the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix but Max is coming back at us, we just didn't have the pace to get away, we're side by side with Max Verstappen now, he's up the inside, we're going to have to hold it to the outside once again, round the outside we go, we keep Max through, he's having a much more easier race than he did in last time we were here, when he had to fight his way back through from 14th he won that day but this time we're standing in the way of him potentially making it back to back wins here in Spain as we go on to lap 8 Max up the inside with the DRS we're just trying to keep our race in line to go round the outside Max is there at the inside we keep it pinned round the outside of least attempt to but Max is through and into the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix we did everything we could to keep the Dutchman behind but we're not giving up we're gonna maybe try the inside into turn four but we were just too far back there and Max started to pull away a little bit and that's less as vulnerable to the Mercedes but we're gonna send it anyway on Max Verstappen we go deep though Max cuts us back and now we are lost out to Verstappen again the two Mercedes going wheel to wheel now Hamilton's got Gained a couple of positions since the start and he's trying to go round the outside of George Russell, the pole sitter. And Hamilton gets the job done on his teammate and now is looking to make it the Spanish Grand Prix win that he was so cruelly denied 12 months ago on the final lap to this man who we're overtaking again, Max Verstappen. We sent it again, Max cuts us back again. And we're getting a bit desperate now. We just need to recompose ourselves as Hamilton tries to go to our outside, to our inside. We fend him off. He's still there at the inside. And now George has seen a chance to go back up the inside of his teammate Fernando Alonso. He's waiting with the popcorn to find a way through as Hamilton keeps George behind. And now as Max has started to pull out, he's pulled the DRS out and now with wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton we're going to tuck into Hamilton's slipstream and try and do go down the inside but we couldn't do it, he defended the inside line the 7 time world champion and now on to lap 14 it is time for our one and only stop of the day he gave everything in that opening stint on these soft tyres, we had no grip left. And let's see if we could maybe do the undercut, as there is some drivers that have stayed out as we time our grid box to perfection. And now we go on to the mediums, but we've, we've been caught up in traffic and we've lost out to Fernando Alonso. You can see Hamilton and Verstappen there and also we're going to lose out to Fittipaldi and Sonoda our teammates we've come out in a lot of traffic there 
and that is not good. We need to get our way back, get our way through. We need to clear these quickly. As now we're going to send him so so late up the inside of Fittipaldi. We tried to get Alonso as well. We've got our former teammate, and now we've got to get past Fernando Alonso, who I did not think would be fighting in the opening stages of this race. But Alonso very late maneuver to the inside but we get the job done and now we can set our sights back on the Mercedes of George Russell up front though this is George and Sonoda could put a shift in here and keep George behind but on those hard tyres that he's on he's struggling for pace and George is free and now Sonoda needs to get out of our way because he's held me up quite a lot on this lap and we're going to send it laid up the inside but we've gone deep and Sonoda have caught out and we may have lost in the position to Fernando Alonso who's trying to keep it pinned to the outside the Ferrari of Leclerc is looking for a way through as well and in our bid to get our teammate it's cost him to Alonso but he's trying to go back down the inside of Alonso but Alonso keeps him behind we may have messed up a little bit there for him but this is the front three then as Hamilton's overtaken for Stappen and now George is on for Stappen to try and make it a Mercedes 1-2 Max round the outside he now has the outside line again and George is through it's a Mercedes 1-2 on to lap 32 now our pace we just couldn't match the top three on the medium tyres as the two Mercedes go wheel to wheel at the inside goes George Hamilton defends him off he wants to win this Spanish Grand Prix here comes George now on his teammate can he deny Hamilton the win side by side they go the two Mercedes into the first corner George now has the inside line for turn three Hamilton tries to hold it around the outside but it's just like it was 12 months ago. He might lose out to Verstappen as well. Up the inside goes Max. Hamilton holds around the outside. But he keeps ahead of Verstappen. And it's like it was 12 months ago. Hamilton leading on the final lap of the Spanish Grand Prix. And may well be denied victory once again. Logan Sargent's engine has popped on the final lap of the Grand Prix and in the background you can see there George is going to win the Spanish Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton from Max Verstappen we couldn't live with the pace of the front three but we are going to come home for a fairly strong P4 and that's the end of the race we'll see you in Park Fermi Another Spanish Grand Prix is over then. And what a special race it was. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? Well, they managed their tyres to absolute perfection. A tyre whisperer, in fact. That is what set them apart. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Well, what a race that was in the end. That's two seasons in a row. The race has been decided on the final lap here in Barcelona. And twice, Hamilton has been denied victory on the final lap. Last season, it was the hands of Max Verstappen, who won from 14th and overtook Hamilton on the final lap. 
and George has done exactly the same thing this time as well. We come in for a P4, we get the fastest lap as well. We just didn't have the pace to catch those in front and we were just managing the pace behind to the Ferrari and the Aston Martin of Alonso and Leclerc and Logan Sargent, the only retirement he is classified though as he retired going on to the final lap of the Grand Prix for him as he was nearly a lap down. So we dropped P3 then in the drivers. George now leads from Hamilton and this is turning into a three way fight potentially in the championship but let's not get carried away. We are only four races in. I think this waits till around Austria or Silverstone and then think about whether we can go for the championship or not. But Yuki is a bit further back to us. We stay second in the constructors to Mercedes. We pull away a bit from Ferrari as well and there's still four teams yet to score in Haas, Alfa Romeo, Williams and Alfa Tauri. So that's been the Spanish Grand Prix then for season two. I really hope you enjoyed this race. It was very very good race we tried our hardest in the opening stint to stay in the lead and to win the race but the pit stop when we lost out to Alonso ultimately cost us in the end because we just didn't have the pace to recatch the two Mercedes and Max Verstappen but fourth is still a strong result we go to Canada next and hopefully we can go three better than we did in this one goodbye